Hey everybody, we just got out of the Lucasfilm Showcase panel. Three of us sat in different spots, but somehow we all got in uh, like a resistance or rebellion would. But <laughs> here's our first reaction. No planned thing, we're just gonna chat about what we just saw, which is a lot of stuff. Uh, if you were following Star Wars News Net, you got the tweets from Lacey. I even ended that tweet there, by the way. I should probably do that. Uh, we retweeted stuff from, from uh, RB, TRB, but uh, Andor, August 31st, was revealed. It's going to be two seasons. It's going to end with the second season leading, just like Rogue One into A New Hope, mm -hmm. right into Rogue One. So maybe Cassian going to the Ring of Kafreen. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that, I have to say, was the first trailer we've seen from Disney Plus that felt like it was a movie. Yes. It was very cool. Yes. I was like, wow, that's big. Yeah, I've been talking just immediately like to a couple people and I'm like, I see that and I think that just looks like the best thing they've done. Like, and I think maybe that's a little bit of my Andor thing coming out, but like a Rogue One, like love. You've been the biggest whatever. Andor. But I'm yeah. like looking at that and I'm like, that looks so, so good. So good. Yeah. What do you think of the Andor trailer? I thought it was cool. I'm overwhelmed with the musical stuff, though. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, the well, choir at the beginning, those women walked out. I said, it's a choir. It's a choir. It's a yeah. choir. Yeah. All right, so let's get let's get to that then. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, John Williams coming out in honor of his 90th birthday from February. Uh, we, I didn't know that he was going. I, I figured when they brought their orchestra out, they're going to bring him out. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. And then they do Indiana Jones. They do the new Kenobi theme. Uh, which First time ever. What did you guys yeah. think of the Kenobi theme? I thought it was subtle, but like it had moments that was yeah. very impactful. Very subtle. Also, like it felt like there were hints of the Force theme and, and the main also theme. the main theme. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it seemed like it was a little bit of like this and that. Uh, but as it all came together, it will become a new original song that we recognize right away. Yeah. And there was a sense of panic and urgency in the song in some moments. Yeah, which makes me think. He really wrote it for this series, mm -hmm. knowing that they're not going to retcon music from the original movie, which was his music anyway, uh, or, or go back to the prequels and try to punch it in. This is for this and anything else they do with Kenobi. And I wonder if maybe when he takes that hopeful turn at the end of the series, he does it on like a different octaves or different and like shifts it kind of what they did with Ben Solo and, and Tyler Ren. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I really liked it a lot. And just the fact seeing him conduct something live I've never seen before. Uh, I know you have. Uh, that I, I did. You didn't? I thought you did uh, in 2017. I showed up the next day. Oh, no. So we all got to do that for the first time. <laughs> uh, that, that, I started tearing up when he started doing Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford comes out. And then they do uh, Imperial March. Like, oh, my God. It's yeah, honestly it was nuts. like, it, I'm in, like, shock right now. Because it's honestly one of those things that, like, the dream of this Star Wars fan to ever see him live. And to get to see him, it's... Did you get teary? And even if you, I'm getting teary eyed right now talking. I, yeah. Also, even if I'm you, losing my voice on day one. So <laughs> even if you had paid money to go see him live, it's probably very rare that Harrison Ford was going to walk out right after. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I just saw Star Wars like with an orchestra playing. I'm like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen. And then a week later, I see John Williams conducting oh freaking my Star Wars. Yeah. I mean. And Star then that Wars opening and video that was really emotional about like being a Star Wars celebration. Oh yeah. That was really oh I yeah, I I definitely teared up like twice in that. I don't know if they'll play that anywhere, but there was like some significant points, especially Jeremy Bullard. Like yeah. that moment where yeah, he says like yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Peter Mayhew and uh Carrie Fisher too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, that shot sure. where she's bending down to hug the guy off stage, I was there for that. Oh, and how man. about out of all the people that they showed on screen, without question, granted because he was there, but Hayden Christensen got the biggest pop by far. And I'm so yeah. happy for him. For yeah. That. Like, t how did how did he hold it together? Because I was like, that okay. choir was so epic. I oh just my god, the, the smoke! Duel of fans. <laughs> the smoke, though. Oh my god. You know, also he didn't come out as Vader, though. I, I was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> you know. Side side note too, like how awesome is it to have. Um, John Kasdan, Ron Howard walk out oh. on stage, and people, groups of people shouting, make Solo 2 happen. It wasn't me. Did you hear me scream it? I didn't hear no. you I scream said, it. We love Solo! Oh, yeah, I, I heard that. And Ron looked at me. I, I Ron, looked just very at me. distinctly knew that there was a crowd of people on over the top, there. Top, yep, yeah. top left, and it was, I don't know, I would say maybe like 10, 
15 people or whatever that just got it going and i was yeah, like i was like so that is not and it got it got an applause even though there wasn't a pretense because it was like we're shifting off of star wars now yeah, to willow yeah, yeah. but it's still they still talked about solo uh he talked about how much yeah. he loved it kazan was there uh and then, then aaron kellyman comes out and they're like we think you know who this person is so you could tell like kazan and ron howard still love what they did so i, I appreciated that um, but then they did, you know, Willow and um, the new show, Skeleton Crew. Skeleton Crew, yeah. I don't know what to think about that. So that's yeah. Grammar Rodeo. It's going to be, be Goonies. That's Grammar Rodeo. Yeah. I don't think it is going to be Goonies. I like. No? No. Four I mean, kids? I think that's easy to say. It's easy to be like, oh, it's you know, Stranger Things or something like that. But I feel like they went in there and they said, this is not a kid show. This is not a kid show. This is um, supposed to be for the adult watcher. It just has that. four kids in it. Also, and Jude Dave Law. Filoni killed it. Dave Filoni yeah, Dave killed Filoni's it. Great. Where he's like, they say it's a kid show, but I, I chop people's heads off in Clone Wars, so. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, I'm so short, I could just stand right here in the video. Yeah, I'm in could. the sun. Can we move up a little bit? <laughs> we're rotating. We're rotating. Rotating. Um, move along. Move what along. else? What else, man? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, there was so much there. Uh, well, Mandalorian. 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 Mandalorian, yeah. Season three, Carson holy Tango crap. Looks looks so good actually like that, oh, uh, that looks like a, he's back. that looks like a movie too the yeah. tease of of you think your dad is the only mandalorian is hints that he might leave like grogu might go with somebody else or grogu something. made a noise a different noise. Uh, yeah i saw that too yeah it felt like they were leaning in that talking direction they, they've taken i feel like the envelope has been pushed by kenobi and andor to take mandalorian to less of the western sort of TV serialized look to like, we gotta go big here. That looked very theatrical, very dramatic, big shots, and Bo-Katan, like we thought, maybe getting a little Mad Queen-ish, uh, which is kinda cool. Absolutely. I don't know. What else do we Gosh. Uh, Indy's coming out next year. Yep, June 30th. Uh, what'd you guys think of the room? That's the same room as 2015. Yeah, big room. Big room. Oh, I like yeah, the Andor cool. poster, which we still have to go get. Yep, new Andor logo. Yeah. Uh, new images of him and Genevieve Riley. Obviously, there was the trailer, but we were seeing those images you know, before. I'm give away my, give away my poster. Give away. We'll give away my poster. What are you leaving the YouTube comments right now? Yeah. What was your favorite? Well, I can't see that because I'm going to see it. I feel bad. No, no, no. If the Andor trailer is live. What are you most excited for from what was talked about? There you go. Yeah, let's do that. What was the most exciting thing? Leave the comments in this. We'll reach out to you privately or whatever, and we'll get you an Andor trailer or an Andor poster. And All right, the there trailer you go. if you want it. But... Yeah, and the trailer. <laughs> Watch it now. <laughs> so yeah, those are our initial thoughts. Uh, if we left that th anything off, I mean, yeah, we just whatever. Yeah, it's... I'm gonna go cry now. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you later.